Hi everyone, Dave here at East Rosebud Fly Shop in Billings, Montana. Welcome. Today I'm going to tie for you a classic old fly, the Bivisible. This is an attractor fly. It's the, I'm going to tie this in brown and white. It's also popular in black and white. It's called a Bivisible because the trout can see the fly and with the white hackle on here you can also see the fly. Being an all hackled fly, it's an excellent fly when you're fishing riffles or if you're fishing on a lake and the water gets choppy, this fly will float and you'll still be able to see it. Some people do not tie a tail on the bivisible. I like to tie a tail on. To me, it helps to stabilize the fly. I'm going to be tying this on a Daiichi 1310, which is a 1X short hook. I have seen patterns that will tie up to a 3X long hook. I think the short hook helps to keep the hackle closer together. If you do tie this on a longer hook, make sure you use plenty of hackle on this. And I'm just using size 14. This is a size 14 hook, size 14 brown and white hackle, some 10 aught vivas in brown. It's a very simple fly to tie. For the tail, I'm using some CDL mayfly. This is badger dyed brown. You can also use hackle points if you want to, but I think this keeps it clean and simple. This is the Daiichi 1310, size 14, it's a one X short dry fly hook. I'm using Vivas 10 knot brown thread. Go ahead and make a thread base, the entire length of the hook. For tailing, I'm using about oh, 8 or 10 barbs of Mayfly CDL tailing material. Like I said earlier, you can also use hackle points but I think this makes for a cleaner fly. Hook shank in length. Roll that up on top and go ahead and tie it forward all the way to keep our thread base nice and even. Keep it nice and smooth if you want your hackle to wrap nicely. Alrighty, so size 14 brown hackle for the rear two thirds of the fly. I like to tie the brown hackle in with the dull side forward. The hackle points face forward and I think this helps some in the floatability of the fly. Before we had the excellent hackle from Whiting, we tied all of our dry flies with the hackle facing forward in hopes that it would provide a little more support. Today, these days, you don't have to do it. I just like the looks of the fly when it's tied like that. So we'll tie it in again with the dull side facing forward. Wrap that quill down all the way to about the two thirds point. If you want to add a little extra durability, put a little bit of head cement there on the thread base before you wrap it. If you're tying this in a larger hook, something like a 3x long which I mentioned you want to make sure that you use two maybe even three hackles for the rear of this fly make sure you get plenty of hackle on it wrap these in close tight turns you can see how the hackle is leaning forward now to tie dry flag hackle off properly so that you don't have hackle pointing forward, there's a trick to this. Take one wrap of thread over the hackle with no tension. Bring the hackle away from you. This flares the hackle on top, lets the, the uh, thread slide down to the quill. Bring it towards you, it flares the hackle on the bottom. Tighten that thread wrap and put on two more. That's a little different here because we have the hackle leaning forward but when I tie in the front hackle, I'm going to tie it in leaning backwards and you'll see the difference. That makes a nice clean head. White hackle for the front, if you don't have white, cream will do. And I'm going to tie the white in with the shiny side facing forward. Right up snug against our brown hackle. Make sure we don't have any gaps there. Make 
that first turn right up against there. And you can see this hackle is leaning back. They kind of support each other. Stop one eye length from the hook eye. Bring your thread over the top, no tension toward you, away from you. Make sure the thread is directly underneath the hackle. Tighten, and one more wrap. Turn that off. Couple more wraps here, and then whip finish. It's an excellent searching pattern. If you don't know what to fish, if there's no hatches on, even if there are some hatches on, but you don't have anything to match it, try a bi-visible on the same size. I think you'll be surprised with the results. It's a very fishy fly. Thanks for joining in. We'll see you next time.